you were introducing yourself, not yes. that you probably really need an introduction, yes. you said, I'm running against Rob Portland. Yes. Uh, there's a primary to come. Are you getting the cart before the horse? I don't think so. I'm running against Rob Portman. Looking forward to that. And I think uh, it will be a very competitive race this fall, and I think I'll win it. So you have no fear of PG sitting and fell at all? I have no fear. Why won't you debate it if you have no fear? Well, uh, I, I'm, I've chosen not to, not, to, not to debate in this primary because my, appoint, uh, my opponent is Rob Portman. Uh, that's my responsibility. I think I'm the best guy to serve in the Senate uh, seat from Ohio to represent Ohio values. Rob Portman is currently in that seat, and I'm doing everything I can currently and have been over the last several months to focus on Rob Portman, the differences between the two of us. Uh, one of those differences we highlighted here this morning, uh, the difference of choice and women's health issues. Um, but uh, I don't want to fight with a fellow Democrat. I am focusing on this Republican that I hope to defeat. He's come after you uh, with gun uh, issues with regard to your stance on background checks, saying that you didn't change your mind after Sandy Hook. You <laughs> still have, yeah. you're still talking about your NRA rating and everything. Tell, tell us a little bit about Well, it. he doesn't know what's in my heart, neither do I know what's in his heart. Um, but the fact is that I do support comprehensive, no loophole background checks. I do support uh, having those on the no-fly list to be unable to have, uh, have access to a gun. When the president came out with his <clears throat> uh, his recent uh, statement, uh, I I immediately embraced it and said I support what the president's uh, trying to do. Um, so, you know, I I have a record. Uh, I've never tried to run away from that record, but I have said that not only because of Sandy Hook, but because of a whole host of things that have happened across many years and continue to happen on a daily basis, that I believe that we need some com common sense uh, efforts to curb gun violence in our society. And um, so that's my position. And um, I, I, feel, um, I feel quite frankly that it's reasonable for people uh, as a result of life experiences to reevaluate their positions. And I have reevaluated my position and I feel comfortable in having done that. Do you support an assault weapons ban? The assault weapons ban is not something that, uh, the, uh, that the president is pushing at this time, nor just about anyone else. But uh, let me say this, I do, if, if it was possible to have an assault weapon ban that, did, that was enforceable uh, and, and that would be written in such a way that there wouldn't be constant modifications of, of weapons to, to class, be classified as assault, an assault weapon or not an assault weapon, so on and so forth. I would certainly take a look at that. But I know of no serious proposal being brought forth that would deal with that particular issue. The issues that are being brought forth right now um, uh, involve comprehensive background checks. We know that works. We know it can be enforced. And um, the, the no-fly list, we know who's on that list. And consequently, we have the capacity to keep them from getting guns. Those are the issues that I'm focusing on now, I am open to any common sense enforceable uh, effort that would effectively curb gun violence while respecting the legitimate rights of American citizens under the Second Amendment. Governor, there, there's been some criticism of your campaign that you've been laying in the weeds, not uh, engaging uh, Mr. Sittenfeld, uh, some questions about the amount of your fundraising. What, what is your tactic? or has been your tactic going into the primary? Let me tell you, my brother, I started this effort uh, last March. Uh, I have traveled uh, over 28,000 miles in Ohio. I have uh, been in about two-thirds of Ohio's counties and expect to be in every Ohio county uh, within a very short period of time. I am out every day talking to people. And uh, as far as my fundraising is concerned, a lot of people may not think that a million dollars is a lot of money, but where I came from uh, in Duck Run, a million dollars is a lot of money. We raised a little over a million dollars the last three quarters of last year. I will never have as much money as Rob Portman, uh, but I don't need as much money as Rob Portman. 
the fact is that over ten million dollars has already been spent against me in Ohio. We can document that. I have not spent a single dollar on paid media, and yet every public poll that has been released shows that I have a slight lead over Senator Portman. So I don't need as much money as he needs. The, the issues are on my side, and I say, you know, the Koch brothers can buy him TV ads, they can't buy him a new record. And his record is not consistent with the needs and the values of Ohio and Ohioans. And so I feel really good about where the campaign is. Uh, I'm out every day. I was, I was in Lorraine the um, day before yesterday. I met with about 75 steel workers who are losing their jobs in Lorraine as a result of um, Chinese uh, steel dumping, in part, not only because of that, but in part because of China. And so I pointed out to them that Rob Portman is a, you know, he's one of these guys that's an outsourcer. He sends our jobs offshore. He votes for trade deals. Um, and, um, and, and I'm quite the opposite. So I think the issues are on my side. And I think uh, I win this race with less money than Rob Portman has. Because I don't need as much money as Rob Portman has. Be nice to have, though, wouldn't it? Well, if someone wants to contribute, uh, uh, I, I can give you my post office box number, and uh, or you can contribute online. Go to tedstrickland.com. <laughs>